Korean tea is a beverage consisting of boiled water infused with leaves such as the tea plant Camellia sinensis, roots, flowers, fruits, grains, edible mushrooms, or seaweed. History According to the record of Gaia, cited in the Memorabilia of the Three Kingdoms, the legendary Queen Heo Wang Ok, a princess of Ayodhya, brought the Camellia sinensis tea plant from India to Korea and planted it on Baigwolsan, a mountain that borders the city of Changwon. In practice, however, Labrador tea and fruit teas, such as magnolia berry tea and goji berry tea, were more widely used in the Samhan era instead. It is a widely held belief that the systematic planting of tea bushes began with the introduction of Chinese tea culture by Buddhist monks some centuries later. Some of the earliest Buddhist temples in Korea, such as Bulgapsa, Buloisa, and Hwaeomsa, claim to be the birthplace of Korean tea culture. The import of Chinese tea products started during the reign of Queen Seondeok of Silla (631–647), when two types of tea bricks, Jiansha (Jiansha Zhuan Cha) and Dansha (Dansha Tuan Cha) were imported from the Tang Empire. In 765, a Buddhist monk is said to have presented an offering of the tea to King Jongdeok and the Buddha. Camellia sinensis tea plants spread throughout the country in 828, when King Hyungdeok received seeds from the Tang Empire and sent them to be planted on the Jirasan mountain. Tea was usually offered to the Buddha, as well as to the spirits of deceased ancestors. Tea culture continued to prosper during the Goryeo dynasty. Tea offering was a part of the biggest national ceremonies, such as Yongdengho and Palganho, and tea towns were formed around temples. During the reign of King Myeongjong (1131–1202), Seon Buddhist manners of ceremony prevailed. Jung Mongju and other scholars enjoyed tea poetry, dasa, dasa cha shi, and tea meetings. Daho, daho cha. The state of Dashanilki, Dashanilki cha chan yi, tea and Seon in accord was eulogized during the Joseon dynasty (1392–1910). Korean tea culture underwent secularization. The royal family and aristocracy used tea for simple rites, a practice referred to as darye, dali chali, tea rite, which is often translated as etiquette for tea. Towards the end of the Joseon dynasty, commoners adopted the practice of using tea for ancestral rites. The word cherry, chali chali, tea rite, cognate to darye, now refers to jessa, ancestral rite. In the past, the two terms were synonymous, as ancestral rites often involved offerings of tea to the ancestors. Wedding ceremonies also included tea offerings. The practice of packing tea into small cakes, which lost popularity in China during the 14th century, continued in Korea until the 19th century. In 1895, King Gojong of the Korean Empire used coffee for the first time. In 1896, grocery stores began to have tea rooms as annexes, and the first modern tea house was established in 1924. Traditions Market Although tea from the Camellia sinensis plant is not as popular as coffee in South Korea, with the annual South Korean tea consumption at 0.16 kg per capita, compared to 3.9 kg for coffee, grain teas are served in many restaurants instead of water. Herbal and fruit teas are commonly served, both hot and cold. Varieties. <inaudible> <inaudible> From Camellia sinensis Unoxidized Nokcha. Nokcha lute Green tea. Green tea, the most common form of Korean leaf tea, is an unoxidized tea made from the dried leaves of the tea plant. Nokcha can be classified into various types based on several different factors. The most common is the flush, or the time of the year when the leaves are plucked and thus also by leaf size, these varieties are named ujon, ujon yujan pre-rain, sajak, sajag shik thin sparrow, jungjak, jungjak zhang medium sparrow, and daejak, 
Dajag Dak Big Sparrow. Loose leaf tea is called ipcha ipcha or yepcha, yeopcha yicha, while powdered tea is called guru cha galucha or malcha. Malcha mode roasted diokium cha diokium roasted tea are more popular than steamed jungje cha jungjecha jungji steamed tea. Southern warmer regions such as Bosung, Hadong, and Jeju are famous for producing high quality tea leaves. Banya cha banya cha ban ruo prajnya tea and jungno cha Juglocha zu lut bamboo du tea, among others are renowned. Nokcha can be blended with other ingredients, such as roasted brown rice to make hyomi nokcha, hyomi nokcha zan mi lut brown rice green tea, or lemon to make rimen nokcha, lemon nokcha, lemon green tea. Topic: <laughs> Partially oxidized. Wangcha, wangcha huang yellow tea. A tea made of partially oxidized leaves of the tea plant. The tea, like oolong from China, is a cross between unoxidized green tea and fully oxidized black tea. The oxidation process for wangcha is very specific, which enables it to develop its unique flavor. <laughs> oxidized Hongcha, hongcha hong red tea. Fully oxidized tea, called black tea in the West, is called red tea in Korea, as well as in China and Japan. Yeksol cha, yegziolka whose name shares the same origin as the green tea jaksol, is a traditional black tea variety from Hadong in South Jiangsang Province. <laughs> Post-fermented Tukcha cake tea, or byungcha Byungcha bing cake tea, a post-fermented tea brick. Borum cha, bolumcha bao lin cha, or borum bengmo cha, bolumbegmoka bao lin bai mao cha, named after its birthplace, the Borum Temple in Janjung, South Jila Province, is a popular tuksha variety. Doncha, money tea, jancha, jancha chiant money tea, or chongtejan, chongtejan ching tai green moss coin is a post-fermented tea brick, made into the shape of Yeopjon, the Joseon coins with holes. Other leaf teas Flower teas Fruit teas Topic: Grain, bean, and seed teas. Topic: <inaudible> Root, shoot, and bark teas. Topic: <inaudible> Combination and other teas. Topic. <inaudible> See also Sujangwa Misutgaru